guys and welcome to this video where we are checking out a very indigenous makeup brand that is cruelty free, vegan and affordable as they call themselves. Not only is it made in Canada which is why I'm testing it but also created by a Desi entrepreneur so it's completely owned and created by an Indian who believes in inclusive beauty. Now that's getting me excited. Now just to share a little bit about this brand which is what I learned from their website is that it is designed to be richly pigmented and should probably suit all skin tones. It ships to about 57 countries and has retail presence in about 8 countries. So I will be sure to add the link of the website in the description box down below. Alrighty, I just don't want to be talking about it but actually see the products in action which is why I invested in 4 shades from this brand and they're supposed to be the most multi-chromatic shades and the shades are actually shifting eyeshadows. So to swatch these, I will be opening the box that they came in. So opening the box, I do see all these bubble wrap pans and if I just pull out one of the pans so I do see that the eyeshadows pans you can see through and through now each of these retails for about 25 to 30 bucks and has about 2.5 grams of product in each pan and I'm really hoping these work because they are a bit pricey so just to swatch these I'm going to be opening these up and I will be swatching these on my arm and then we will go into my face there is an issue with the packaging even though I do see like the packs are wrapped very well you don't they don't really mention the name of the shade so this is going to be probably my best guess and hopefully that works normally for eyeshadows that wouldn't be a problem because by looking at the shade you can really understand what shade it is but with multi-chromatic shades if you have a purple a pink a blue a green in one pan itself it's very difficult to differentiate so please don't mind that because that's not my fault i can't really guess the shades but i'm going to give it my best guess so let's get on now this i believe is alchemy which shifts within ranges of magenta amber light green gold and also a dark green let's watch this one right now now that's one swipe and I'm going to swipe that right there. If you notice, it's a beautiful shade which almost goes from blue to green to a nice golden and a little tinge of pink as well. So that is the shade. I love how beautiful that is and it's very easy to move around. I can actually dilute the shade, the shimmer uh, if I keep moving that around. And it starts to become a little pinkish but also green. I love the monochromatic shade so I'm definitely liking that. Next we have Paradox which is a bluish purple shade. Now this too is definitely a beautiful shade. I am loving it and I can't tell you how much I wanted to enjoy shimmers that can really glow, that can really stand out. And I think this is one of those. All right, so let's move on to the twilight shade which shifts in shades of blue, purple and green. This is definitely a beautiful bluish purplish shade. And lastly, we have Enchanted, which shifts in shades of pink, blue, and also a little bit of green. It has a beautiful velvety and almost a foil-like feel, which is something that I enjoy. Diluting the shade, it looks beautiful. It has shades of green, pink, and a little bit of blue as well. Now that I've played with this shade quite a bit, as you can see, I think I should stop and I should probably start playing on my face as well. Now let me be frank here, even though these shades are very beautiful in the light and in front of the camera, 
they're also beautiful and they dazzle in very little light they are super pigmented so even with one swipe i felt really good for applying it on my skin and also on my face it does have a very velvety and smooth finish another thing that i noticed is that they do not have as much fallout with something like this you normally expect the more the shimmer the more the fallout which is not the case with these and unless you actually touch your fingers on your clothes or also on your rest of the face i don't think you'll have it falling on the face the brand does put it very well when they say it has a velvety foiled and a unique wet eyeshadow look and this is not just me saying it because the brand is by a fellow indian but for you to actually see the effect by yourself and i'm sure you've realized that now with these swatches now since i'm already floored by these swatches let's start applying these on my eyes i'm really looking forward to that so we can see how they fare all righty so i am going to go in with this beautiful shade and i'm not sure which one it is but it's a beautiful pinkish shade in the pan and it turns out to be green and purple and all other shades when it hits the light Now as you can see I went in with my finger only because I really wanted to be able to apply very precisely and ladies and gentlemen I think I have the final verdict but let me just zoom you in and show you the beautiful shades of these eye shadows on my eye Alright folks, so I'm not kidding when I say that I found my shimmer love with these eyeshadows by Vani Cosmetics and it has the best color payoff and it is monochromatic to the moons. Even though you're seeing different colors on my eyes, they're actually from the same pan so needless to say I am loving these but I do think that they are going to be the first to actually get over from my multitude of fans of eyeshadows. I wish they also sold a quad magnetic palette with these to actually store them safely but until that or until something like that comes out I will be using my salt New York magnetic palette but that is all for this super chromatic extra foiled video if you like this video and you liked watching me don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you in my next video next week but until then you take care love yourself and stay gorgeous bye